Welcome back to The Forge for another Rusty production. Today we're gonna to try part two of making knife tongs. It's cold today. <laughs> it is cold in the forge. I haven't lit anything yet, um, but I have got us from part one, which was a whole bunch of fail, to part two, which is today, where we're actually gonna be putting these tongs together. So, recap, here's where we are. We've got two loops, um, which are the things that are gonna be holding our, uh, our stock, our five mil stock. Uh, I've got uh, two bosses, which probably need to be worked out a little bit more. I've got some reins that also need to be worked out further. And I've got, um, on the boss, I still need to punch that for the hole so that I can put my rivet into it. So we've got a fair bit of work to get done. Um, and hopefully the, um, the attention I'm going to give to the rest of the tongs is not gonna actually upset what I've done up here. Um, in this uh, this loop area, because th this is where it cracked last time. So what I might do before I get started is actually show you how and why it cracked. I've really worked out why that's happening now. So uh, let's have a quick look at that. So last week, uh, if you've seen that video already, if you haven't, go and have a look at it. Um, I was making these loops. And to do that, what I was doing is uh, I was punching through here and here, and I was splitting it along the length with um, a tool like this hardy tool here. Uh, so it was kind of like cutting through like so. Now, the the uh, tongs cracked here, right through there. And I actually didn't crack just one, I actually cracked two sets. Um, they both cracked right through that center area. So when I was doing it, I, was, I, was, um, I thought that it was because maybe I was quenching it or something like that, but I wasn't doing that. So uh, the thing that was causing the issue was the hardy hole. So rather than punching with a piece of material like this in place, where I've actually got a nice uh, tight fit against the metal, uh, I'm not shocking the rest of the metal, uh, what I was doing is actually putting it over the hardy hole and whacking it through there. And, and it was using the edge there to actually create a seam. And that seam was the thing that was cracking. So um, two things I learned from doing this. One, one is uh, try and use as small a space as possible to punch through, because uh, you're gonna get a nice bit of um, resistance all the way around, so it creates a nice tight fit. The other is uh, when I was lengthening the reins on, on a previous set, uh, I didn't have it exactly flat, it was like slightly off. So every time I hit it, it would rattle a bit, a bit like that. Um, and so that rattle or that shock was actually sending the shock waves up through the metal, hitting into that seam and actually forming the crack. So the other thing I've got to, I've got to do more of is start to use the, um, these edges here and here and really start hitting where I'm not gonna get a lot of shock back through the piece I'm working on. So. Uh, there's our learnings, and uh, now we're going to go on and finish our tongs.
something that was still quite hot. Um, you can see that's a, it's a bit, better fit. Uh, so I've probably just got a little bit of cleanup to do there before these two go together. I'm just going to get a file to get up into these corners here just to give it a little, little bit more leeway, uh, make them as smooth as possible. Then the idea is that they'll come together like so. Hopefully you'll be able to see this instead of getting too hot in my hands. And we'll curve back these areas here kind of like a duck's bill um, and, and the metal will be held in the slot. So they'll turn back like that, they'll turn back like that and then they'll, they'll be held in the right spot. So let me just... Let me just fold these bits back here in the uh, right in the grooves, and uh, and then we'll get ready to punch. is punched. I'll clean that up with a little file in a minute but uh, first things first I'll heat it up and then I'll just um, drift it slightly. Right so here's our punch tongs um, and here's our rivet. Rivet goes in here. Uh, rivet, goes, rivet goes in the other side. through and that's completely the wrong way around <laughs> that's what I meant to do all right cool so uh, that's basically what we want to do with the rivet you can see it's sticking out the other side enough that I'll be able to create a head on that side now the only thing that's wrong uh, it's just about right is that you see you see this flat edge here that actually should be on the other side. So it should be flat straight out from the tongs here and then that bulge should really be on the inside uh, as it is on this other one. So I'll just show you. See on this one how it sort of bulges out a little and then it's pretty close to flat on this side. That's kind of what I'll need to do here. So um, there's two things I need to do. One is to move that back in to sort of push this out a little and uh, make sure I've got enough space in there that I'm gonna be able to hold the metal. The second is I've got to heat up the tip right here 
sorry, right here and here, and I've got to bend them back on themselves so they create that duck bill, and um, and that's all before I start. I rivet this thing together because um, uh, it'll be too difficult to do at the end. Uh, I need to do it right now. So, cross your fingers, pray for me, boys, because the uh, this in here is very likely to crack unless I get it hot enough. So I need to get it very hot, uh, and then I also need to be very very gentle with it. So. Fingers crossed. Pretty much where I want it to be. Um, what I will do after I heat it up again is I'll get a piece of stock in here and I'll wedge it right in, make sure that it's um, it's going to hold firmly and actually give me enough give at the same time. <laughs> it's definitely going to hold onto the metal. <laughs> I won't let it go. There's our tongs. You can see how they're going to work. They're going to hold the steel between these two um, mouths like that. And let's see if I can get the piece of steel so you can see how it's going to work. But basically, it's going to be along the. These are quite hot, so just be a bit careful. It's going to be along the lines of this. So you can see how it holds the steel like that. Um, and obviously when these line right up, it's going to be a lot cleaner. So let me put the rivet through them. And then I'll finish them off. I'm going to put the whole thing in the fire, then I'll bring it up and actually close the rivet. Okay, so there's just been a little bit of time between a uh, last uh, cut that you would have seen and this one uh, I had to go and get some more fuel and that took a few days to do so I'm up to here with the tongs you can see that they're not uh, They're not flush yet and you can see if you look that way that they're not sort of lined up Yet to where they need to be so that I can actually get that steel in there But you get the idea that's this is the way that they're going so I've just got to finish them off now So that I can get uh, you know the right amount of stock in there and have it held the right way So uh, back to the fire and we'll finish it off
Okay, so there we are. There's our uh, knife tongs or our blade tongs. Um, you put your metal in, in so, and it actually locks it into place with these sort of duckbill uh, tips to the tongs. So the thing about these is I can adjust them. I can make them uh, come more forward or come more back depending on the size of the stock I wanna work with. So uh, it gives me a fair bit of flexibility. Uh, and they are quite heavy, but um, that's actually what I wanted to, to do is actually um, keep a bit of weight to these so that um, they weren't going to get flimsy when I start knocking the metal around, especially with the tool steel. So, uh, yeah, worked out the end. They're, uh, they're still pretty rough. They're still um, are not the prettiest finish uh, in the world, but I am happy with the result because this is what I was trying to achieve. So. Uh, if you like this video, give us a like. If you've got any comments on things that I can improve in, always looking to uh, hear that. If you've got any uh, comments about things that I did well, always looking to hear that as well. Uh, for those who haven't already, please uh, subscribe for videos that are upcoming and uh, hit that little notification bell so that uh, you're notified when the next video is released, which is something that we're trying to do every single week. Uh, until next time, thanks so much for watching.